I have been absent from my post for four months and coming back the world is a different one. I have been on a secret mission in the depth of Africa to sort out some technicalities of German production and coming back it turns out that the British have bribed our politicians and have managed to get them to return control over the port of Gibraltar which obviously has outraged once the scandal became public the uh, has has outraged the British population and has severely damaged the relationship that just had been repaired between Great Britain and Germany also in the east the nationalists have retaken control of the government in a counter-revolution and the Russian Empire is once again under the control of the Tsar. If this means improvements or a detriment to our position remains to be seen. Our fleet just is, given that we are in between wars, currently mostly on refit. If we're looking at the classes we have three of the Kaiser Wilhelm II class battleships. We've still we've got three Nassau class battleships that are currently being refitted. We've got the four Derflinger class battle cruisers and the both the Scharnhorst class and the Baden class of heavy cruisers are currently under construction. Our destroyers are being outfitted with the latest in mine laying, mine sweeping and equipment and depth charges. And uh, the light cruisers have been that have been shown to be obsolete have been scrapped. In terms of politics, the German Empire is still under the threat of war with the British, now more than ever due to the recent political scandal. And the new Russian monarchy is not in favor of us either. But our allies in Austria-Hungary are standing firm with us. Hello everybody and welcome back to Old Admiral Dreadnoughts. Um, yeah, I had to kind of gloss over a couple of things as you may have noticed because of uh, if you didn't get there or if you're just coming in now because of the 1.3 upgrade beta which had destroyed my saves and I have recreated the this uh, I have recreated the situation as much as possible. You will notice that some of the ship names in the fleet are different. That's because I can't rename ships, which appears to be a bug. I'm not sure if it is or if it's just not meant to happen, but uh, there is an option, but it doesn't work. And the map looks a bit different, doesn't it? Yeah, this is the 1.3 update. So a couple of really nice things have been added. Uh, the like the country colors for once, which makes that a lot more, a lot easier to, um, a lot easier to get an overview of uh, what's what's what and what belongs to whom in the great wild world and the uh, uh, probably the other big change that you're about, that you're going to be seeing not sure of this episode because we're not at war but is the uh, weather system which has been much improved regardless we're now in july 1912 and uh well we are we are not at war with anybody although tensions with the british are running high Given that it's been a while, a couple of weeks, uh, I will qu qu quickly run you through the current designs that we have in our fleet. There is the relatively aging Nassau class battleship. Uh, these things are running, I can't even remember, these things are running uh, uh, the, uh, where is it, 280mm uh, main guns and the in the refit, the 152s have been replaced because the 152mm casemates were ineffective against uh, smaller fast-moving targets with 105mm guns. But this is our oldest, uh, our oldest pre-dreadnought design that is still in service. A lot of the other designs have been scrapped. We have the S-138 class uh, destroyers, uh, small destroyers. Uh, again, uh, an, uh, an old and outdated design. There is a single refit which uh, I can actually show you. There is a single refit which has an additional set of twin t t torpedo tubes in the rear and has gotten improved uh, mine laying, mine hunting and depth charges. Uh, these ships will be more used for port guarding and pr probably anti-submarine warfare uh, and less so for scout duties. For that, we actually have the V-16 class of larger destroyers, which is uh, also armed with four torpedoes, but with actual four 88mm guns 
as well as the regular destroyer utility outfit. We do have the Daflinger class of battle cruisers. These uh, have served us relatively well, but it is a bit of an awkward design <laughs> due to the large foxhole on this on this hole. Uh, but uh, these ships are still sporting the uh, 305 millimeter main guns as well as the 152 millimeter uh, secondary guns and 88 millimeter auto secondaries as well as uh, as well as some uh, some casemates. This is starting to age a little bit, so we will at some point go need a newer battle cruiser design as well. But uh, they are reasonably fast with 28 knots and have been holding their, their own quite well. We have the Kaiser Wilhelm II class of battleships. These are currently our these are currently our flagships. Uh, they have eight. Uh, they have eight 305mm guns as well as 200mm secondaries, both in casemates as well as in turrets. Uh, these things are not quite necessary against small targets, but more really to engage enemy capital ships. And like I mentioned, the light cruisers have been scrapped. We are no longer building these because they were just really not very effective in combat, uh, except for at ranges where they just get outright deleted by the heaviers. In return, we have actually two heavy cruiser designs. We've got the older Scharnhorst class, which has 203 millimeter main guns and 105 millimeter secondaries in uh, in four turrets around uh, the center superstructure. And we have the uh, somewhat newer Baden class of heavy cruiser, which is an interesting experimental design, and we'll see how that turns out. But uh, she is armed with 254 millimeter main guns, six of them, in a in a somewhat uh, Deutschland class layout, and she has 605 millimeter triple turrets. Uh, I know that the original design had another one here, but the whole, the turret layout has changed. These turrets are now wider than they used to be, so I can't fit that there. Even if I and if I'm trying to make them uh, to give them broader beam, then I'm going over or going over displacement. So. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that, that was in the early design drafts and in practice in the shipyard it turned out that this is not an effective design. Uh, also you'll notice that a lot of ships are now armed with depth charges. Uh, this is a new thing, so uh, this gives, uh, it, it does increase the ammo detonation chance somewhat because obviously you're carrying explosives on the ship. But uh, it does mean that uh, even the cruisers have some cap anti-submarine capability, so they are uh, equipped with uh, hydrophone stations and depth charges as well as the destroyers are. Most of the German surface fleet is stationed on our coast in the North Sea to counter any kind of action from the British. We've got the first battleship fleet with the four active battleships in M stationed in Emden with an escort of six destroyers and we've got the battle cruiser fleet in Wilhelmshaven. They are a little bit short on destroyers, so uh, we do, however, have the old Nassau and two destroyers stationed in Hamburg. Um, I, I think they're currently under refit, so I can't really move them. And we'll see if we have some destroyers anywhere that I can move. Yeah, we mostly, yeah, we've got six destroyers here. So how many, how many did we have? Yeah, let's move, um, uh, let's move four to Wilhelmshaven. Uh, one, two, three, four, and uh, they can act as the escort escort for the Daflinger class battle cruisers. So most of the fleet is concentrated here. We do have some forces in the east. Uh, there is a there is the Koenig, an old Nassau class refit, as well as some destroyers and some submarines, but uh, nothing major at this point. So uh, if there is any trouble with the Japanese, then we will have to uh, defend our territories over there. We might have to send additional forces. But right now, the biggest threat are the British. And the most likely theater of battle is going to be in the North Sea. To cover their embarrassment and failure with the bribes involving the repurchase uh, re of Gibraltar, the British have launched a smear campaign accusing us of espionage. They are now demanding financial compensation and the mood in the street is distinctly anti-German. With this propaganda, they are, uh, they are attempting to put pressure on us to, to corrupt even more funds and we are not going to play this, play this game. 
This, however, is going to bring us to the brink of war. Despite the best efforts of our diplomats, the British clearly desire an armed conflict. Their fleet is about twice the size of ours, but our ships are ready, the modernizations have been completed, and we will not respond uh, to their corrupt dealings. War with the British, it is. Orders have been given to the fleet, and the ships have been brought up to battle readiness, and are waiting a sortie from the British into the North Sea from their ports in Hamburg and Emden. Meanwhile, the submarines will start, will start, and destroyers will start laying mines to protect the ports. And given that we are outnumbered two to one, we will await what the British will throw our way. U-17 and U-20 have set forth from their uh, port in Helgoland and are going to start patrolling the coast of Yarmouth. We will order some new submarines to reinforce this fleet. And uh, because right now we already have ocean-going submarines available, we will get five of these built to, to reinforce the underwater fleet and this new form of warfare. Austria-Hungary, our ally, has joined us in the, in the fight against the British Empire. Uh, at the same time, the Russian Empire has declared war on Austria-Hungary. This does not bode well for security in Europe, and we might have to fight on multiple fronts. Meanwhile, a British fleet has appeared off the coast in the North Sea. It looks like our trap has been sprung, and the Sachsen, a Deflinger-class battlecruiser, together with four destroyers, is facing off against the Queen Elizabeth, together with the Cumberland, Aurora, Bristol, and the destroyer Plucky. This is a relatively even fight, so we will see how this turns out. The sea is calm and it is a clear day, as our battle group gets into position and our destroyer forces race ahead to locate the British enemy. V6 has made contact with the enemy. We have located some British forces. By the looks of it, this is either the heavy cruiser or the Queen Elizabeth. But uh, the destroyers are racing ahead in order to get a clearer, a clearer picture. While the Sachsen is starting to line up shots at the enemy heavy. And we will engage as soon as we are within range. The first cruiser has been spotted as well, and our destroyer forces, our scouting forces are still getting into position. We've got V26 here slightly in the rear, but we have the V6 leading the charge, and we will start we will start target, targeting the, the enemy cruiser. It's probably about time to lay smoke and uh, get into torpedo range and see if we can push these off a little bit. Meanwhile, the Sachsen is targeting what we're pretty sure at this point is the Queen Elizabeth. She does need to watch out with torpedoes for somewhat, but uh, the destroyers are now coming under uh, coming under fire from the enemy battleship. Uh, she is not in a favorable position. We'll get the second destroyer group to target her, and we will start uh, we will start opening up with torpedoes on the whatever is on the possibly light cruiser here. So it's probably time to start making a hard turn getting these torpedoes away second destroyer group is going to target the queen elizabeth and is going to approach from the other side and the Sachsen at full speed is targeting the queen elizabeth as well uh, we do need to uh, we do need, oh the v6 has been hit and it looks like uh, there are enemy torpedoes incoming as well so she is probably going to go down she has yeah the v6 has taken uh, a has taken a hit from the uh, from the main guns from the Queen Elizabeth, so that torpedo run, uh, despite the smoke screen, uh, has turned out to be uh, has turned out to be the last that she did. But they will be remembered, and uh, uh, there are lots of enemy torpedoes in the way at this point. So the Sachsen does need to be a little bit careful. But she is she is opening fire at the Queen Elizabeth. We do need to check our second destroyer line. Yeah, the the British look like they 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 are disengaging at this point. So the destroyers are currently in a stern chase. 
We'll see if the V20 can get away. Uh, and we'll have to make sure that the Zaxxon does not run into any of these torpedoes. But uh, I don't think that'll be an issue. She doesn't really. Ha she hasn't really drawn. Well, we'll we'll avoid. We'll just uh, steer to avoid this one. We haven't. Uh, we haven't been able to uh, to draw blood yet. But um, uh, we might change. We might change our focus on uh, our guns on the Aurora for now. Because uh, she is the closer target, and the Queen Elizabeth is disengaging, so uh, we 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 will we will focus our guns on her for now. The destroyers, the second destroyer group, now is going to get ready to lay smoke, and uh, is going to try and get torpedoes away. Uh, we might we might target the Bristol actually with torpedoes, and and see if we can if we can make that happen. Oh, another heavy hit from. Uh, I think this, yeah, from the 340mm main guns of the Queen Elizabeth. So I think our destroyers are not particularly lucky today. But the Saxon is is turning, and uh, the British, yeah, the British are disengaging here. So uh, we are going to keep uh, we are going to keep opening up at that light cruiser. Nice, an overpenetration has taken out one of the engines of the Aurora. And uh, the destroyers, after launching their torpedoes, are now also disengaging because uh, they're really no match for for this <laughs> for the firepower of this magnitude. So while we are trying to get another hit in on the Aurora, uh, the Aurora is taking on it's, it's the, the rear compartments of the Aurora are flooding, and a couple more overpenetrations have taken out her engines from the Saxon. So we should be able to. Uh, we should be able to uh, to take her down. We just have to be careful not to actually run into our own destroyers here. But I think we will we will be in the clear. Another su another salvo at the Aurora. Uh, we'd like to take that ship out if possible, and that uh, should be pretty much the end of her. Um, she is burning heavily. She is laying smoke. Uh, she's taking on a lot of water. So I think that will be that will be fine. But now we are in uh, we are in very close proximity. Yeah, the Bristol. Oh, it's, it's the Bristol actually. Have we taken out the Aurora as well? Yes, we've taken out both the Bristol and the Aurora. So now it's uh, now we're here to while the destroyers are reloading, the uh, the Saxon is going to engage the Queen Elizabeth. Now the Queen Elizabeth has the advantage in gun firepower, but. Um, Okay, the, de the destroyer Plucky has been sunk as well. She is now alone. Her escorts have been taken out by the Saxon, and the Saxon is going to get in on at close range. Well, the destroyers are turning around and again, f uh, and again facing her. However, the Saxon has just taken a massively pen a massive penetrating hit from the Queen Elizabeth, and uh, she might be she might be a little bit in trouble here. Uh, the Queen Elizabeth herself has not taken any significant damage, so uh, Saxon is on fire now, and it looks like even though the Queen Elizabeth is a significantly smaller battleship, uh, she is managing to inflict an, a disproportionate amount of damage onto the Saxon. We may have to we may have to disengage here and uh, try and get the destroyers back on uh, back on uh, back on target because that hit. From the, from the superior firepower from the Queen Elizabeth has uh, has caused some significant damage. The Saxon is flooding is flooding in the uh, in the forward and rear both forward and rear compartments. There come the first actual hits uh, from the from the Queen Elizabeth, but the Saxon is now in serious trouble. The destroyers are coming back in. However, there uh, oh a, I think we have an ammunition uh, explosion at the Queen. Yes, we have a flash fire. The Queen Elizabeth uh, has, has suffered an ammuni ammunition detonation and we see the turrets lifting off. That means uh, probably the end for her. But uh, the Saxon has taken some serious damage in that engagement as well. We'll see if the Queen Elizabeth can... Uh, can yeah, she is sinking. I think that was, that was the end of her. However, the Saxon has taken some serious damage as well. Uh, she is uh, still afloat. Her citadel is still undamaged. And uh, she is now. Uh, we just have to get these these floods under control. 
but uh, with that hit she has taken out the uh, Queen Elizabeth so the destroyers are now going to race in and try to uh, draw some fire away from the Sachsen and uh, take on the uh, Cumberland over there uh, so all these destroyers will now will now go in and uh, try to engage that heavy cruiser while the Sachsen is still trying to get the floodings under control. We are going to drop speed down to 20 knots to assist with the damage control measures, and uh, we hope that the bulkheads are going. To, we hope the bulkheads are going to hold. So while the destroyers are engaging the heavy cruiser, and uh, hopefully the Sachsen can uh, open up the distance a little bit and get these floods under control and maybe uh, get some good armor-piercing hits onto the Cumberland which uh, despite her her despite her entire battle group being wiped out has been is still going aggressive so apparently the british are still itching for a fight and we will see if the zaxon is going to be able to get out of this without f any further damage to her and hopefully the destroyers can inflict some damage on that heavy cruiser she is still going to give ranged fire but uh, yeah, she she is now she is taking on quite a list, so uh, she is probably not really that combat effective anymore at this point. The destroyers are rushing in and are going to start laying smoke while uh, while running on and tr running up and trying to get a to get a torpedo solution onto that heavy cruiser. Uh, we might be able we might be able to disengage if we have to, but I'd I'd like to make the British defeat rather complete if we if we can. Uh, so while the destroyers are racing in to intercept, we've got V20 leading the charge. She is already laying smoke, and uh, I think the rest of her group is not having smoke ready, so they might just have to use her smoke screen. But uh, we will try to at least chase this heavy cruiser away. And uh, all the while this, uh, the Sachsen is maybe able to get a couple more salvos off and get a couple of hits in. That would be great. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, we, need to, we need to detach that. Uh, we are having incoming torpedoes, so V20 needs to dodge those. Uh, no, I said detach everything. Okay. And detach that V20. Please try to thread the needle here. And these two need to detach as well. And make sure they do not run into those torpedoes. Okay, V20 is clear, but uh, the cru uh, from the from the torpedo drop from the cruiser she, and due due to the evasive maneuvers, uh, she now has to uh, she she now has no longer has a good angle. So. We'll join these two battle lines and uh, V20 is giving chase which is not ideal she is taking fire from the from the heavy cruiser uh, Sachsen can slowly perform a turn and see if we she can uh, see if she can get uh, maybe a couple of hits in but uh, given the amount of damage that she's taken from that engagement with the Queen Elizabeth the chances are not the greatest uh, V20 is still closing in, but obviously has to be very careful about these 150 millimeter guns. But oh yeah, there come the first hits, despite the smoke. So we will probably, we will probably disengage from here on out with the destroyers. After, uh, we do have a bunch of torpedoes coming in, but this is a rather long range shots from one of the other destroyers, and uh, so I am not sure how well this is going to work. But be careful <laughs> not to run into our own torpedoes here. Uh, V26 is out of torpedoes, uh, V25 is completely out of torpedoes, and uh, V20 V20 is is going to drop her torpedoes and then get out of here because she is taking damage. So we will see if any of these torpedoes ends up hitting her. Uh, we do have some torpedoes coming in from the from the destroyers. I think I think she's going to outrun them. This torpedo here might no, I think it's just too slow. So I'm going to give the retreat order for uh, for the destroyers, and uh, yeah, she has managed to evade the uh, the torpedo, and it's going to dodge that second drop from over there as well from the uh, from the V20, and in a gun duel there obviously no match for that heavy cruiser. But we have uh, we have much managed to uh, draw her off now, 
So uh, the Sachsen is going to drop speed further to 15 knots. And uh, she, she does have a solution. She does have a solution on the heavy cruiser. And the destroyers are just going to retreat at this point. We have some more torpedoes coming in, but the Cumberland is already in the turn. So uh, she has avoided uh, she has avoided these torpedoes and is, as for now, still undamaged. The destroyers are no match for her, so they need to uh, they need to get this engaged and uh, and get out of here. And maybe Zaxxon can get lucky with a long range shot, but I don't want to risk, given how much damage she's already taken. I don't want to I don't want to risk any further engagement with her. But instead, uh, if we can, she can barely elevate the guns to compensate for the list that she's taking. If we can, uh, we will. Uh, we will try to disengage. I think we have still uh, give some unlucky hits uh, that have penetrated Saxon's armor, but uh, we have managed to sink most of the British force, and I would say that is still a significant victory for us. The engagement is over. The Saxon has taken quite some damage. We have uh, lost 219 crew all in all, most of them probably from the sinking of the V6. But in comparison, the British have lost the Queen Elizabeth class battleship. They have lost two light cruisers, Aurora and Bristol, as well as the destroyer Plucky. And only the Cumberland has survived the engagement of the Border Patrol in November 1912 in the North Sea. The opening shots have gone in the favor of the German Empire.